Hello and welcome to Wolf Spirit Productions. I want to introduce you to our mascot, Wolf Spirit. He's currently dressed up in his summer decoration. He's ready to go swimming. Let's just hope he doesn't end up doing that. When we say you're riding with Wolf Spirit, this is who we're talking about. On this episode of Ride with Wolf Spirit, we are in Virginia on US 13 southbound. And we are about 10 miles from the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. That is what you will be seeing today and going across with us. The bridge tunnel is about 20 miles long. I hope you enjoy the ride. I found some interesting information on the wiki for the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel that I would like to share with you now. The Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, CBBT, is a 17.6 mile bridge tunnel crossing at the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay, the Hampton Roads Harbor, and nearby mouths of the James and Elizabeth Rivers in the U.S. state of Virginia. It connects Northampton County on the Delmarva Peninsula and Eastern Shore with Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Chesapeake, and Portsmouth on the Western Shore and South Side slash Tidewater, which are part of the Hampton Roads metropolitan area of eight close cities around the harbor shores and peninsula. The bridge tunnel originally combined 12 miles of trestle, two one-mile long tunnels, four artificial islands, four high-level bridges, approximately two miles of causeway, and five and a half miles of northeast and southwest approach roads crossing the Chesapeake Bay and preserving traffic on the Thimble Shoals and Chesapeake dredged shipping channels leading to the Atlantic. It replaced vehicle ferry services that operated from Southampton Roads and from the Virginia Peninsula since the 1930s. Financed by toll revenue bonds, the bridge tunnel was opened on April 15, 1964 and remains one of only 12 bridge tunnel systems in the world, three of which are located in the water-dominated Hampton Roads area of Tidewater, Virginia. As of January 2021, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel has had more than 140 million vehicle crossings. The CBBT complex carries US-13, the main north-south highway on Virginia's eastern shore on the Delmarva Peninsula and, as part of the East Coast's long-standing ocean highway, provides the only straight direct link along the East Coast and Atlantic Ocean between the Eastern Shore and Southampton Roads region, as well as an alternate route to link the Northeast U.S. and points in between with Norfolk and further south to the Carolinas, Georgia, and Florida. The bridge tunnel saves motorists 95 miles and one and a half hours on a trip between Virginia Beach, Norfolk, and points north and east of the Chesapeake and Delaware Valley, River, and Bay without going through the traffic congestion in the Baltimore, Washington metropolitan area further west in Maryland and Northern Virginia, also known as Balwash. From 1990 to 1999, at an additional cost of almost $200 million, the capacity of the above water portion of bridges on the facility was increased and widened to four lanes. An upgrade of the two lane tunnels is currently underway. The parallel Thimble Shoals Tunnel, the southern tunnel section, will have a maximum tunnel depth at the top of the tunnel of approximately 105 feet below the surface of the water. The roadway surface will be approximately 134 feet below the surface of the water. The current plan for the northern tunnel section upgrade is set for 2035 to 2040. The crossing was officially named the Lucius J. Kellum Jr. Bridge Tunnel in August 1987, 23 years after opening, honoring one of the civic leaders who had long worked for its development, construction, and operation. It continues, however, to be best known as the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. The complex was built and is operated by the Chesapeake Bay Bridge and Tunnel District, a political subdivision of the Commonwealth of Virginia, governed by the Chesapeake Bay Bridge and Tunnel Commission and in cooperation with the State Department of Transportation. Costs are recovered through toll collections. In 2002, a Joint Legislative Audit and Review Commission JLARC, study commissioned by the Virginia General Assembly concluded that, quote, given the inability of the state to fund future capital requirements of the CBBT, 
The district and commission should be retained to operate and maintain the bridge tunnel as a toll facility forever. End quote. Ferry system. For the first 350 years, ships and ferry systems provided the primary transportation. From the early 1930s to 1954, the Virginia Ferry Corporation, VFC, a privately owned public service company managed a scheduled vehicular for car, bus, and truck and passenger ferry service between the Virginia Eastern Shore and Princess Anne County, now part of the city of Virginia Beach, on the mainland western shore in the Southampton Roads area. This system, connecting portions of US-13, was known as the Little Creek Cape Charles Ferry. In 1951, the northern terminus in Delmarva was relocated to a location now within Kip Took Peak State Park. Once the bridge tunnel was built by 1964, much of the ferry equipment and vessels used by the Little Creek Cape Charles Ferry VFC service was then sold and moved north to be redeployed to start the Cape May Luz Ferry across the 17 mile mouth of the Delaware Bay between Cape May, New Jersey, and Luz, Delaware. Original construction. The tunnels were constructed using the technique refined by Ole Sinstad with the Baltimore Harbor Tunnel, whereby a large ditch was first dug for each tunnel into which was lowered prefabricated tunnel sections, cable suspended from overhead barges. Interior chambers were filled with water to lower the sections. The sections then aligned, bolted together by divers, the water pumped out, and the tunnels finally covered with earth. Operations, maintenance, and regulations. Toll collection facilities are located at both ends of the facility. Tolls are paid in each direction. As of 2019, the toll for cars without trailers traveling along the CBBT is $14 for off-peak or $18 for peak times, which are Friday through Sunday from May 15th to September 15th. Should a car make a return trip within 24 hours of the first, the second trip across has a discount for cars without trailers and motorcycles. Motorcycles pay the same toll as cars without trailers. All other vehicles are charged based on size and purpose and are not subject to the return trip discounts. For us to cross this bridge tunnel as a semi-truck, we pay $43 each way. All tolls must be paid either in cash, debit, or credit card, by script tickets issued by the CBBT, or via EasyPass electronic toll collection. The bridge tunnel began accepting smart tag slash easy pass payments on November 1st, 2007. It is mandatory that the bridge be checked and serviced every five years. Since servicing the bridge takes about five years, the work never stops. Hey, job security, how about that? The Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel is one of only two automobile transportation facilities in Virginia that employs its own police department. The other is the Richmond Metropolitan Authority Toll Road Police. By original charter from the state, it has the authority to enforce the laws of Virginia. Emergency call boxes are spaced every half mile along the bridge. The toll schedule, weather advisories, and other information are available at the official website for the bridge, which I will include that link in the description down below. Dimensions. Among the key features of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel are two one-mile tunnels beneath the Thimble Shoals and Chesapeake Navigation Channels and two pairs of side-by-side high-level bridges over two other navigation channels, North Channel Bridge, 75 feet clearance, and Fisherman Inlet Bridge, 40 feet clearance. The remaining portion comprises 12 miles of low-level trestle, two miles of causeway, and four man-made islands. The CBBT is 17.6 miles long from shore to shore, crossing what is essentially an ocean strait. Including land approach highways, the overall facility is 23 miles long, 20 miles from toll plaza to toll plaza. And despite its length, there is a height difference of only six inches from the south to north end of the bridge tunnel. Somebody did some really good math to figure that out and get that so close. Man-made islands 
each approximately five and a quarter acres in size, are located at each end of the two tunnels. Between North Channel and Fisherman Inlet, the facility crosses at Great Above Fisherman Island, a barrier island that is part of the eastern shore of Virginia National Wildlife Refuge administered by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. The columns that support the bridge tunnel's trestles are called piles. If placed end to end, the piles would stretch for about 100 miles, roughly the distance from New York City to Philadelphia. Major Accidents The Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel has suffered three major ship accidents that caused the bridge tunnel system to be closed. The first accident occurred in December 1967 when the Mohawk, a coal barge, broke anchor and struck the bridge, closing it for two weeks for repair. On January 21, 1970, the USS Yancey, aka 93, a United States Navy attack cargo ship carrying 250 people, was at anchor near the bridge tunnel. During a gale with winds gusting in excess of 50 miles per hour, the Yancey dragged its anchors and hit the bridge stern first, knocking out a 375-foot segment of trestle. There were no vehicles on the bridge at the time of the impact, and no one was injured during the incident. During the 42 days it took to replace the damaged span, the Navy offered a free shuttle service for commuters using helicopters and LCUs. That would have been cool. In 1972, the bridge was again impacted by a barge that had broken loose, again closing the bridge tunnel for two weeks while the span was repaired. The bridge tunnel is frequently impacted by barges moving through the highly trafficked area. Most incidents cause no damage but require a closure of the system for inspections before reopening. The most recent example of this was the June 2011 barge strike, which closed the bridge tunnel for less than four hours. In 2017, a truck plowed through the barriers into the sea below. The driver was rescued but died en route to the hospital. There is more information on the wiki for the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, and I'll include the link down in the description if you would like to read the rest of the information. It's pretty interesting.
miles from our delivery, so we'll leave you here. Let you explore the Virginia Beach back there. Look really pretty. I hope you enjoyed the trip, and if you did, please give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Our goal is to share with the general public what it's really like to be out here on the road over 300 days a year, driving up and down the interstates and the U.S. highways, etc. So the more the video gets shared out, the more people see it, the better. The more people will understand what a truck driver goes through day to day. Did you see anything unusual today on this ride? Did you see any animals? Let us know down below in the comments. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll get notifications when we upload more content. There'll be at least one new video every week. We hope you'll come back soon to watch more content from Wolf Spirit Productions. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next ride.